A historian once called Ella Josephine Baker one of the most consequential and yet least honored people in America. While her face is on a postage stamp, and she is known by historians for her pivotal role in the civil rights movement, her name is unfamiliar to most Americans. Her anonymity was fine with her. In both her personal and her work life, she intentionally avoided the spotlight. We're at the home of Ella Josephine Baker in Littleton, North Carolina. Welcome. And behind me, this home still stands today after many years. Can you imagine? This was her home place from the time she was seven years old. And to the upper right-hand corner of the upper level of the house was her room where she studied late into the night. And so being here on this property, it's only fitting that I share with you one of her quotes. Courage. Every great movement started as we have started. Do not feel discouraged because in our few months of life, we have not rivaled some long established cooperative venture. Each successful cooperative enterprise has taken much time and energy and sacrifice to establish. Nothing worth accomplishing is ever achieved without work. Joella was born in 1903 in Norfolk, Virginia, but at an early age returned to her mother's close-knit African-American community in Warren County, North Carolina, where families pooled resources to help each other survive and thrive in the aftermath of slavery, the Great Migration, and Jim Crow. The place where Ella grew up and where I grew up as a fifth generation is where she learned the courage to act on her own and the importance of working together. Close-knit, pooled resources, value of land, understanding need to support each other with dignity. It is not surprising that Ella wanted to build cooperatives. Her parents and community taught her these valuable life lessons. Her lessons and spirit live on in Warren County. Before Ella Jo Baker worked for the WPA, before she was one of the most effective field officers of the NAACP, before she co-founded SCLC with Martin Luther King Jr., before she advised SNCC, she was a cooperator, a co-op organizer, a co-op educator. As a co-founder and director in the 1930s of one of the most important African-American co-op development organizations, the Young Negroes Cooperative League. She created a lasting legacy for the co-op movement, showing black youth and women in particular, the benefits of cooperative economies, not just for survival, but also for advancement. I argue in my book, Collective Courage, that Baker's early experiences in the co-op movement contributed significantly to her later successes developing innovative grassroots leadership and organizing strategies for civil rights. She achieved this in great part because of her training in and experience with economic democracy and member participation in the co-op movement. This co-op hero applied the lessons that she learned from her co-op roots to her lifelong organizing work, becoming a world-renowned civil rights activist. What struck me about Ella Jo Baker was the combination of her being so clearly good at what she did, yet also just being so human. She was a remarkable woman who put her many skills to work consistently and effectively throughout her lifetime in all different contexts. But at the same time, you really got a sense that she was just really an enjoyable person. One of the favorite things we found out during the research was Ella Jo Baker loved to play baseball. I'd rather play baseball than eat, she once told an interviewer. She loved to have fun, to work with others, to be on a team. And I think you could really see that in her work and in her life. She embodied that sense of camaraderie that's so special about cooperatives. Elja Baker spent a lifetime serving the common good, but her commitment to cooperatives and economic empowerment has never been adequately recognized. That's what the Unsung Heroes Award is all about. As we continue to reckon with our past, we need to better understand the role of cooperation in our history. The history of all of us, especially the role it's played in empowering Black communities devastated by the impact of slavery. As instruments of dignity, respect, fairness, and agency, cooperatives can empower us and bring us together now helping to create the kind of world we want to live in. We cannot truly address the challenges we face as a society, whether it's racial equity, injustice, poverty, access to health care, or climate change, unless we use our collective power. A truly inclusive economy requires it. 
I had no idea of the extent of Ella Jo Baker's cooperative work until I started researching her for the Unsung Heroes Project. I knew a little about her when we started the Ella Jo Baker Intentional Community Co-op but I learned so much more about her passion for consumer cooperation, her focus on education, her vision for more and more co-ops and academy and even a factory. Her work, her footprints from her work can also be seen in her, her transition to the civil rights movement. She did a lot of great work for the cooperative movement and she inspired me as well. Occasionally, Miss Baker allowed herself to be publicly acknowledged, but it was only in service to a greater purpose, to build support for the work of whatever organization wanted to honor her. It is in that spirit that we recognize her here as a visionary cooperator. We honor her for deploying the principles of cooperative democratic organization to protect and defend the rights of millions of black Americans. Tonight, we are proud to induct Ella Jo Baker into the Cooperative Hall of Fame. <laughs>